uh, oftentimes these types of situations are not only detrimental to your roof's performance, uh, but it can also dictate whether or not a roof coating can be used to restore your existing roof. Never coat a turd. That's a saying that we live by here at Titan Applicators when we're qualifying roofs for whether or not they are a roof coating restoration candidate. And what do we mean by that? Terminal unrepairable roof deficiencies. Those are things that we use to qualify the roof whether or not it will accept any type of coating uh, or if there are things that need to be done in advanced in advance of applying a coating or whether or not a coating can even be used. How well is the existing substrate adhering to the roof? Uh, is, is it fully adhered or is it mechanically fastened? Is there water trapped between the roof and the substrate? Does the substrate of the roof feel spongy? Um, are the seams popping up or are there evidence of seam failure somewhere on the roof? Uh, oftentimes these types of situations are not only detrimental to your roof's performance, uh, but it can also dictate whether or not a roof coating can be used to restore your existing roof. Now, if you do see those things, don't totally freak out or totally eliminate roof coatings as an option for you. Uh, what I would do is I would call up a roofing professional uh, to, to confirm something can be done with the existing roofing substrate. Um, we have a general scale here at Titan Applicators as far as what is allowable and what is not allowable to to repair a roof with roof coatings uh, but if you're in the denver area specifically or even anywhere up and down the front range give us a call we get free estimates we'd be more than happy to come out take a look and uh and let you know whether or not that your your, your roof is a good candidate and then uh, and then proceed from there